back with another episode. What do we have today? <laughs> no, first of all, you know what I wanted to start off with? Um, this ain't doing nothing. I told you don't worry about oh. that. See? You gotta worry about that. Oh. Yeah, man. So, we got Ray of the day. <clears throat> yeah, man. What's up? What's up? Round of applause for Ray. You feel me? So today, I mean, we you coming right back with, the, with you know the motivation for the culture. You feel me? It's a lot going on in the culture right now. A lot mm. going on, but I wanna um, I'm about to show you all, show y'all the definition of the word person on the screen, and this is this is in the Maryland code. You know, like every state has its own laws. So, y'all gotta know y'all laws in each state because you don't know what you violate and, and they can come lock you up, you know what I mean? But this is the definition definition of person defined in the Maryland law book. You see that? Mm-hmm. You want me to read it? Nah, I'll put it on. <laughs> <laughs> Shut that shit up. Shut up on Hollywood. Come on, you know I'll put it up on the screen. I would edit it all. Some people need, you know, audio. Nah, see what I what I do is I just edit it in there. So when I say stuff like, oh, it's stopping to be like, <laughs> right. So you just gotta act like if it's up on the screen. Okay, it's up there. Because I would just edit it it's in there. there. Okay. Where is it right here? Brookie. <laughs> <laughs> well, then, so this is the uh, that's the definition. Because you know certain stuff I'm not gonna just say. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Niggas ain't gonna bad hat be shadow bad though. <laughs> Try to get watch subscribe. Hey, subscribe, y'all. Y'all gotta make sure y'all subscribe and like. And that's really for analytics. I really don't care <laughs> for that. Like y'all not hurting my feelings. This is more for like analytics. You feel me? So yeah, man. If we gonna grow the channel, let's grow the channel together. So um, all y'all gotta do is like. Make sure y'all subscribe and shit. So this is the definition of person. You feel me? It means an individual, a corporation, a business trust. So y- y'all gotta understand. Why things are going on the way they going on? Because you're not really looked at as a a human being. People look at you as a as a business. The law considers you a business. Mm-hmm. So if this 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 is this, this the show is based in Baltimore Baltimore Maryland. But y'all gotta everybody else wherever you at out there just look at your local laws. But this is in Maryland state law. That we are businesses, you feel me? So <laughs> I wanna open this so bad. Listen, man. When you you hacking <laughs> <laughs> my computer. Next time you bring your own laptop. Yeah, because I don't know, know how to work this. Yeah. Well you don't need what you need to be you need to just you know I mean you need to be talking to the people. The people I mean they wanna hear you. You a wolf, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. You know I mean so we got our guest wolf out here. Matter of fact, tell them all the field that you just got graduated in in Towson. Out of Towson. <laughs> um, I got my degree in business admin and I concentrated in marketing. So now I work in marketing. I'm a marketing coordinator. I support other businesses locally, small businesses, but we call them big businesses. So basically, she know how to hustle. Basically, she know how to yeah, man, get your money. And she also know how to get you some money. So... I'm gonna put her ad up there, her Instagram. Make sure y'all tap in. You feel me? She, she, she might be the next person to take over the show. Yeah, you know I man. She, she you know I mean, she a wolf. So I mean, you never you know. know. I mean? She could host the show. You know what I mean? When I when I hit the road, I go do something else. You feel me? She gonna. You know I mean, and she got her own projects coming. Just stay tuned. You feel me? But we are businesses. We are considered businesses. So you gotta understand, police are not really out here to care for the community. That was back in the day. Police is out here to protect businesses. Now, of course, they're going to come out and pick your body up because now they take your body to another business that keeps the ambulances and everybody employed. They keep other businesses going. You feel me? Y'all understand what's going on? Everything is business. So y'all got to learn business out here and stop just waking up 
and just walking outside, walking around aimlessly. Yeah. Learn business because they already look at you as a business. So if you don't know how to control your own business, somebody's going to control it for you. And that's what's going on out here. Look at all the rappers that's locked up. Can we talk about oh, that? Oh, man. You was crying because Thugger got locked up. <laughs> like, people, like, people thought Ghana, look, Ghana trolled his way into y'all living rooms, into y'all phones, into y'all hearts. Thugger ain't out there with, man, he ain't wearing no dresses and all that. Like, Thugger really out there. Man, niggas scared of Thugger down in Atlanta, man. I've been heard about his reputation. Um, you ain't hear nothing about Thugger back in the day? Mm-mm. Man. Why you think Rich Homie fell off like that? You okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> no, um, no, it's it's crazy. It's it's so crazy. And just even thinking about how far back they went with everything. Yeah. And it's all coming out now, like it's definitely some motive behind it. It's definitely on purpose. Like this isn't a coincidence. You got Thugger. Gonna just turn this self in. Gonna look like he about to cry. That ain't P. <laughs> um, <laughs> that, that ain't P. Uh, uh, Pooh Shiesty. He gonna be down for probably the next two, three years. Mm-hmm. We ain't gonna see Pooh for a little while. Um, Fujiano. Fujiano. Whole, the whole 1017 ra- done. Gucci ain't even get a good... <laughs> God damn, Gucci. <laughs> I feel bad for Gucci, man. He done... He done tight, yeah, man, it changed his life around. But yeah. Gucci, you, you got to give him more game, Gucci. Let's keep, let's keep it real. You already been in those situations. You done lived that lifestyle. You got to kind of get, let them know why, like, they could put up the image and, like, you still giving us the gangster image, why? Don't get it fucked up. We know the work you done put in, why? But you're not out there doing that shit. You living, you got a brand new baby. You done mm-hmm. a big ass man. She got a beautiful wife. I mean, Tell them kids, man, like that's what they really need to do. They can keep the image up, but they gotta keep it separate. Let's keep it real. Yeah. Rappers, man. If y'all out here living y'all lyrics, y'all is just delivering y'all self to go to jail, man. Yeah, it only ends two ways. The prison system and the record labels, they in bed with each other. They've been in bed with each other, man. Y'all gotta do y'all research, man. Everybody wanna be a rapper. Learn the business. You feel me? Who else? Casanova? Yeah, he been. He too grown. Yeah, he too grown for that. He been, man. I got my mother directed to in that house, too, on camera, y'all. I should have my other camera so I could get her little facial expression and all that, too. I probably sneak something on my iPhone. But um, she had, too. I got a key head. But, yeah, Casanova. Casanova too old for that, man. He know he wrong. Casanova, man. Come on, Casanova. And then you in there crying and stuff. Rallo, Rallo been locked up. Free Rallo, no, really but free Rallo. Like Rallo. we need that music. Like Rallo, <laughs> that guy. Like he really is about. I to like Rallo, but I still ain't like, crazy. I Rallo still, is listen, dead. I, I, I. So, so I'm wilding. I mess with Rallo. I just his voice is just a quiet taste. You feel know I me? Mean? Quiet. Ain't, he ain't been out long enough for it to grow on me yet. So free Rallo, man. Rod and Lucci, they done try to kill him. Already. Yeah. Uh, look, I, he's like, not my, he's like, not my preference. Oh, I, 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 never, I never like Lucci. You look like you got a little sad when I said why for Lucci. Um, forty two Doug. Yeah, man. She no, said she no. thought he was a juvenile. No, bro. he thought he was a juvenile. <laughs> I know how old he is. She thought he was I sixteen, y'all. I love little Doug, Doug man. You know, Doug was wildin' though. I heard he. But he always play. been wild. He's like a bad kid. Like that's his. That's him. I heard he only had to do six months, and he claimed sovereignty. <laughs> he said he's a sovereign citizen. He don't have to abide by the laws. So he was in all type of public places and basketball games mm, and mm, mm, mm. just out in public places. Then he beefing with six nine of all people. If you run in front of feds. Why would you get into it with the fed baby and so? <laughs> so forty two Doug, he he, he got probably to sit down for a little while. Um, Glock Nine, you know Glock Nine? I don't know Glock Nine. A little down south nigga, you know Glock Nine? Down south nigga with the crazy dreads, black as hell, look like a little fake Kodak. Mm-hmm. Glock Nine, um, K Flat, you know K Flat? 
You know K Rock. Yeah, K Rock. Everything dead. <laughs> K Rock was a disrespectful little thing. But he was signed and still and still outside doing that's what I'm you saying. Can't, like, you can't be both. Like Y'all, come on. It's like man. a regular job. Like Yeah, what's the point of you getting when once you get signed, you you whether you wanna say it or not, you work in, in corporate. Yeah, man. What, what? like you yeah. a talent. You're you're hired. D thing. You know D thing? No. <laughs> Y'all mess with New, New York Drill. No. Okay, well this is what popular rappers for the I man people that mm-hmm. that. So since we just talking about rappers, ASAP Rocky just got out there. Yeah, that hurt my heart. Oh, that hurt like, my see, heart. See, see, you see some type of rappers she like. See the type of, <laughs> type of rappers she like. That's the type of the the European dressing rappers. You feel me? She don't care about the. Hood. What you think they wear in Baltimore? <laughs> she don't care about the hood niggas. What you think they wear? What, what um? Stop what he said? Oh, I'm sorry. That's a bad <laughs> habit. Might be big, which what um? I'm adding, adding all that. What um? Everybody said they were Italian. That's that's Italian. Yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. Everybody do. Yeah, yeah. Niggas do. Let's talk. Let's talk about that for a second. Let's talk about it. Everybody wants to dress European, right? The girls want to have the European hair, right? No, that now that is not true. And or the, or Brazilian. <clears throat> or what's, what's what's the number one top hair right now? No, this is the thing. This is the thing. When we want hair, when we want extensions, that's that's how we look at it. Is an extension. We don't want to look like no white people. What we about wanna, wigs? We want to be black, but with nice hair. We want to have our hair done. Why? See, this go back to the, what was that Chris Rock uh, joint he did? Good hair. Yeah, that was. See, a, I don't know. This is this is the thing. I think people forget the kind of maintenance it takes to have black hair, and we love th- we get weaves because we love our black hair. We want to protect it. We want to change it up. That's what I love. That's what I need on the show. That's what I need right here. Sparring partner. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Piece. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, we want to protect our hair. Me personally, I wear my real hair for a few months, and then I go back and do weaves for a few months. Some people want to do wigs. Those are actually more protective because they cover more of your hair. So, you agree with that, Key? I agree. And I think that people do be getting it fucked up. But, yeah, it's too much having braids all the time. It, like, pulls your hair too much. Mm-hmm. Um, it can cause traction, alopecia, make your hair fall out on your edges. So you do have to have your hair, like, out and it's, it's better to do wigs sometimes so you don't have any traction in your hair mm-hmm. that don't mean we don't love our hair we don't i most of the women i know love black hair and that's why we love people when they have a whole lot of black hair because mm-hmm. you got to take care of it to have it like around 2000 i say 11 12 it was like a, a it was like a real big like natural hair um yeah yeah, it was a nice little run. Yeah, and yeah. it's still it's still around. It's yeah, it's still around. still around. Yeah, it definitely. But it's with now and... braids braids wasn't cool for a minute, but now braids are cool again. It was, so can we? So that's so that's what the natural girls are doing. So let me let me let me ask you a question about that. Who con- who controls that? Mm-hmm. Who who says we what's we cool? do? That's what I'm trying to say. Like I saw the little natural <laughs> that's exactly hand. Exactly the one they go to the middle one. <laughs> <laughs> they have a right fucking there. Y'all do too much. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm breaking up. Because you know, like... <laughs> Y'all doing too much. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> so who controlled that? Because I saw the little natural hair phase. Mm-hmm. And I saw the Cardi, the Cardi, uh, Nikki phase. With the, it was a lot of hair. I mean, colorful wigs and stuff. Mm-hmm. Who controls... Black women, we control the cool. We pick somebody. Who had, who's the first person that say we doing twisties today, y'all? Who's the top? Where does it start at? That's what I want to know. This stuff, it's, it can it, start anywhere. But no, 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 it's no, no, no. With black women. Just, all right, well, if you don't know where it started, just say you don't know where. No, it started. I no certain trends are what, clear. What, what, like Nikki, when she came on the scene, it was color head. It was so it started. Hat. So it started with Nikki then. No. No, Where does it start that then? trend started with Nikki, but there's so many trends in black hair. There's so many. But who controls the the black the, women? The, the, period. Nah, what what I'm saying is when it, when the when the phases go through the phases, I know mm-hmm. everybody ain't doing the same thing, but it usually be like a majority. Like it's like yeah. So who controls what's cool at that time? That's all I'm asking. This is what I'm saying to you, right? You hear the bird out. Somebody must have got shot. Oh lord. This is what I'm saying. 
Sometimes you have people that follow trends and you have people who don't follow trends. It's usually the people who don't follow trends that start it. So, I don't know. One day I decided to throw my hair up and put a braid in the front. Somebody else might think that's cute. They're going to start doing it. They're gonna start. It's a trend. People catch All on. All I'm saying is who... All right. Have you ever started a trend? Um, I like to think so, yes. What 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 you do? <laughs> <laughs> Car back for chapstick? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I like to think well, I didn't start it, but Oh now I should want to claim it. Matter of so. fact, no, I'ma claim it. I'ma claim it. Why not? I'ma claim it. Back in we can get with that with a Cancun. That was twenty eighteen, right? Mm-hmm. This is when this is when half up, half down was starting to get. And make sure y'all girls out there y'all yeah. fact check. Yeah, y'all can fact check. I got my picture. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Okay. This one half up half down started to get hot. Now what is half up? But half, half, up, half up half down is when you see girls that have like a ponytail up top and then like hair out oh, in the, okay. the back, right? Okay. So I was going on a trip and I was like, I want half up half down, but I don't want to have to do my edges every day. So I decided to braid them. I had like big braids going up and then I have um like extensions in the back. Three years later, now everybody's doing it. Everybody's Ooh. getting it. See now y'all know where it started. But at. then again, now that I'm thinking about it, to give you more detail for your your question, I think a lot of trends in black hair come from us having an issue or problem and us finding a solution. Like for me, like I like I said, braids wasn't cool for a minute. Mm-hmm. They just started getting that cool. So I'm like, since I don't want to mess with my hair on vacation, I'm gonna braid it. And that was a trend. I think it really just comes out of like finding solutions. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because we, you know. Okay. That's what we do. Black women, we solve problems. Mm, okay. Like, Definitely. Yeah, because, because, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, we ain't going to yeah, man. We're going to get back to what we was talking about, though, to the to the rappers and shit. Um, mm-hmm. So, yeah, um, we all, we all, as we know, it's a whole nother 10,000 niggas trying to rap. So, that's another 10,000 <laughs> That's gonna line mm-hmm. their ass up to go to jail. So I want y'all to just um maybe I don't know, man. What 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 as a wolf, what would the solution be if you mm-hmm. want to be a rapper? Cause my, this is what I say. If you want to be a rapper, just yo, just know you just be phony, bruh. Cause you going to jail, bruh. Like simple as that. Be phony. Six nine tried to be mm-hmm. hard. He his ass went to jail. Put him in a position to rap. You feel me? I say be phony. That's all I can tell the niggas. You feel me? I don't care how y'all feel about it. Be phony. Or you going to jail? I feel about this. I feel about it. If you in the streets already and you trying to rap, you gotta you gotta put yourself in position. Like, and I guess that is a part of being phony, if you want to call it that. But if you know that you about to make this switch over into working for somebody <laughs> you gotta clean up your house you gotta put your skeletons in the closet because it's not gonna do nothing but just get you locked up that's the only place you gonna go I say just I, you could rap about it but don't be doing it be phony bro and it? it's not even for some people it may not even be be phony cause if that's what you was doing before and now you here that's your story that's that's your art not what she was doing before this i'm saying all oh, everybody that i that named that was locked up right they was currently doing what they was doing lucci but that's going to be lucci that, kicking if you dead bodies stay, that gotta be a story you gotta wrap it up <laughs> that's what i'm saying like everybody is doing everybody's doing what they say is doing yeah. vaughn mm-hmm. dirk all these is doing what they <laughs> man, cause we seeing it playing out. You feel me? Like I, I been knew about Thugger reputation. Niggas wasn't playing with Thugger down there. I got family down there. Niggas do not play with Thugger. Thugger is a real problem down there. His man tried to kill Lil Wayne. Y'all forgot about that? The nigga got that is the true. nigga did his time. Came home and they just grabbed his ass again. This is what I'm saying. Like these niggas is not playing. These niggas really down there. And I think once the 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 white people down there started everybody talking about they was starting to get guns and stuff because the white people were like look mm. we need to get guns now because yeah, because you got these it. you got Atlanta is, is a lot of rich black people so they in these neighborhoods now and the violence is coming out to these wealthy neighborhoods and it's scaring the white people <laughs> <laughs> you got dirt 
having shootouts with India. Like, they scaring the white people, right? So it's like, what they going to do? Let the white people be scared and feel like they got to grab all these type of arms to protect themselves? Or are they going to just go ahead and lock everybody else up? They're going to lock everybody up. You feel me? They know what's going on. That's the true. murders is well documented. It keep news ain't nothing but entertainment. You feel me? Mm. When people, <laughs> when them news actors be at, you feel me? They get script. Yeah. Ain't no news actor yeah. coming in there with their own shit sitting down and th- no, mm-hmm. they get scripts and it's live from off of us, bro. Like your life became a script, bro. Like such and such died today. Oh, another bad day in the city. This That's marks the three hundredth murder. You feel me? This is That's a sucks. this is a rerun. If y'all don't know, like this, the news is literally a rerun. It's a it reruns, and the seasons come from us. You feel me? That's true. If they ain't got shit to talk about, you feel me? Like, hey man, it'll be no need for no news. But y'all don't understand that y'all are in business. But you're being used for other mm-hmm. businesses. You feel me? Like, the news station stay popping. That's true. You feel me? Because you, they're using you as the top story. You feel me? So, I mean, like, if you want to be a wolf, man, you got to understand what's going on out here. And this is the law I'm talking about. This ain't nothing I'm making up. Yeah. You feel me? This is the law book. You feel me? Y'all just got to read. So uh, let's cover one more subject before we wrap it up. Because I know you got, you said you was going to the gym tonight, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, man. Yeah. Kind of running kind of late, ain't Shut you? Up. So <laughs> let's talk about social media breaks. Because lately, man, I've been seeing a lot of sad little, you know, them posts, them last posts people been putting up before they go missing or commit suicide. Like, it's getting, it's getting, it's getting real crazy. I feel like before y'all even get there, man, just. <laughs> Oh, my bad. I, and I normally have my joint on silent. I'm mm-hmm. so sorry. See, my ring and mine ain't making no noise. I'm so sorry. And my... And, you know what, y'all? Hey, man. I'm going to get I'm gonna get, it, I'm gonna get it together, man. I'm, I'm looking for a, a bigger crew, a bigger... Um, you know, the set will get bigger. Everything will get bigger. You feel me? Take this off the boot, too. But, um... Yeah, like, if before y'all get there, man, just... Just take y'all social media break, man. Y'all, and I've take been a, them breaks. and the crazy thing is I've been around females like that that be like, like they don't, they don't, they feel like they don't belong. Like mm-hmm. you feel me? I'm like, well, you don't belong. That's somebody else's page. You mm-hmm. feel me? Like, I mean, you gotta worry about your own. What you got going on in real, in real life? Cause all you doing is seeing pictures. Like, yeah. nah, you don't know people process or what they doing. They be really doing. So it's like. You overly invested in somebody else's life when it's only what they showing you, you feel me? So, and it's like people really be measuring their life to some pictures, to some yeah. stories and shit. And everybody not made to be the same. Like nobody has the same fingerprint. Like you feel me? Like everybody's different. It's no way that should be driving you to just take your life, you feel me? So if y'all gotta just take a social media break, man. Attack into yourself, man. And fall back in love with yourself. Do what you gotta do, cause mm-hmm. it's important. It's getting sad. It's, it's getting real sad. And you know, I got a little niece. You feel me? She got she got Instagram now. So it's I just think about the pressure these little girls going. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Cause you gotta think about it. The stuff that they seeing now, like I don't even think like. Even down to, like, material stuff and body image. Like, I wasn't seeing that kind of stuff or seeing it in that light, at least, until I was in, like, high school. They 8 and 10 years old seeing, you know, young girls with with everything they don't have and feeling like I'm less than. It's definitely a lot of pressure. And take them breaks. I just, I was just saying I took a break. I took a social media break. Um, and it's so funny because it's not even about posting. Like, somebody was like, you don't even post a lot. It's not about posting. I'm if I can, I can sit on my phone and scroll and waste a good forty five minutes just scrolling if I wanted to. I could do that, but you gotta make sure that you partake in the activities that like remind you that you are in real life, in real world. Like my family always is always like good for me. Like I'll just go around my family house and it remind me like, you know, we here, we in Baltimore. This is where we from. This is the real deal. <laughs> Bills are real. Money is real. Like. 
you know, stuff is real and you don't want to get caught up in um, social media and just always kind of living there mentally. It's called the metaverse. Mm-hmm. That's where you at. When you scrolling for hours and hours, you in somebody else's metaverse. You feel me? Like, what is, but you got to realize that, I mean, you got your own metaverse, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, you got to focus on it. You, you got to, if you want attention, it's because I'm going to keep it real. A lot of people, you know, they, that's all they want is attention. You that is me? true. And, I mean, when you grow up, I mean, you grow up a certain way, you might not be getting the type of attention you want. But, I don't know, you got to make it make sense, you feel me? You don't want to harm yourself. If you're going to get attention, like, at least be making some money off of it or, you feel me, building a business, just monetize it off yourself because, once again, you are a business. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So, if you want you, if you if want yourself to be popping, I mean, invest in yourself. You feel me? Find out how you can monetize your skills, your natural talents and yep. stuff like that. You feel me? And then now, are right, you on social media, but you also making money off of it. Now you could actually afford to live a life. Now it makes sense. You feel me? It makes sense. Now you could afford to do other stuff. You feel me? You want to do with your life. You feel me? Because I know a lot of people, yeah, people can't even afford to go nowhere. So they really be in the hood all day. You feel me? They be in the crib all day. You feel me? And the only way they go somewhere is through social media. Mm-hmm. You feel me? But invest in yourself. And then you, you, you can, can go there for real. You can take yourself wherever <laughs> now people looking at you like, damn, what's up then? And then you get that attention, that fulfillment. But you once you realize it's not even about the attention, it's just about leaving a just leading a fulfilling life. Yeah. That's what it's the shit about. If you're not live doing what you want to do every day, you gotta figure that shit out because that's you not got a, to. that's not a fulfilling and life. And it's doable. It's that don't mean it's easy, but it's definitely doable. I feel like you know, people forget, like, sometimes when you're in a situation or, you, like, you're in a house or you're in a job or you're somewhere but you don't want to be, because there's social media, people forget, like, I'm in the real universe. I can change that. I can do something about it. And you just got to put in the work and the time. Investing yourself sometimes not always about money. Sometimes it's just your time and your energy. Like, what are you looking at all day? If you want a new job but you want Instagram all day, then... They ain't going to do nothing. If you want to start a business, but you're on Instagram and you, or you're not doing no research and you're not looking at money money management and everything, then you're not you're not investing in yourself and you're not making steps toward becoming whatever it, you're seeing on Instagram that you like or that you want to strive for. Remember, by law, you are a business. You feel me? So yeah, you got to understand, you feel me? I mean, learn how to do business. And I'm telling you, man, you're going... You're going to open up opportunities for yourself and your life going to just, you know, it's going to get brighter and brighter, bigger and bigger. You're going to start, I mean, building relationships. Y'all got to understand, man, this stuff ain't about money out here, man. Mm-hmm. You are a business. You was born a business under law. <laughs> you feel me? This ain't nothing I'm making up. This is under law. You was born a business. So you got to understand any relationship you build with somebody you got to think of it, you building a business relationship. So now you're going to start choosing better friends. Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. you might start staying away from toxic people because they're not good for your business. They might be family. They might be your, your best homegirl from since Sandbox. But if it doesn't make business sense, you're, you ain't never make a dollar with your homie. Ever. Is that really your homie? You fucked up. You can't go to your homie and say, let me get a thousand dollars, let me get a thousand dollars, get back on my feet. If you can't do this and say those certain things, they they not good business people. You feel me? So they're not gonna be good friends, you feel me? Because friends is basically somebody you could use. You feel me? That's it. If I can't use you emotionally and, and I mean you're not really my friend. If it's one just one way, you feel me? Yeah, you get you got, you got you Friends are supposed to use each other. Don't think it negatively. When you got to be able to Because you don't want to be other, useless. You, know? you don't want to be a useless person. You cannot... You can't think of it. Yeah. You yeah. cannot build a, a big business by yourself. Oh, no. You need other people. Oh, no. And y'all got to use each other's skills. You feel me? You might be feeling down. Now you got to use that person's strength to build you mm-hmm. back up. It's a... You, you got... It got to be a useful... You feel me? Because yeah. we're... Even Anything though when, I've ever achieved, I've definitely had like three, four people up under me or even one person like helping me or 
even like he said, if it's emotionally, I mean, need mental support, like somebody to just kind of spit some game to me real fast or pump my head up. Like you just, you always gonna need people, so you want to make sure you have reliable people and good people. Exactly, you feel me? So if I can't use you, like what you around for? And man, I ain't trying to be cold, but this is where I, I live at. I live in Maryland, and under Maryland law, I'm considered a business. <laughs> so I, I can't sit around here. And yeah, man, if I, if I know that this is how they look at me, and I know the only way I could progress in life is if, if I do good business. Why would I waste time with bad business people? I'm not gonna be here forever. Nobody gonna be here forever. So why would I waste that time? That that doesn't sound like a good investment. I'm trying to help y'all think like wolves. You feel me? Because you gotta understand if you don't know your business, somebody yeah, else gonna use like yeah, somebody gonna use you for their business. The prison system, big business. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Oh yeah, yeah. Them hospitals is yeah, they piling up. But they doing a lot. Of, you know, John Hopkins is big for research. You feel me? So, you know, they got a lot of bodies that mm -hmm. mean practice on and organs and stuff. Though. Yeah. It's just business, y'all. If you if you sacrificing your life for the street, you know what I mean? Like, all you're doing is keeping the business going. You feel me? Everything is business. So, learn what to do with yourself. Yeah, you know I man. Simple as that. Yeah, you know I man. Then you be a wolf. You can move around like a wolf. You won't get preyed on. Mm -hmm. a it's wolf, the way to live. Wolves know, a wolf can look at a pack of people and tell who's the sick one and the weak one. And then they'll separate them out the pack. And they attack. You feel me? That's what's happening every day. You get up and you walk outside your, your house and you ain't got no purpose. You say, I'm just going to chill on the block today. Somebody is watching and praying on you because you're weak. You feel me? You don't. You have no. You have no direction in life. Somebody waiting to snatch you up. That's all that's mm -hmm. happening is people getting snatched up. They getting their life snatched. Their freedom snatched. Girls getting their purse snatched. <laughs> job phone snatched. Like every. You feel me? Like everybody's being preyed upon. You feel me? But if you learn how to be a wolf. Then you know how to, you know what I mean? Move around in the jungle and move around in the wilderness. Because that's where we at, man. That's it was created like this. Of course it doesn't have to be like this, but it's created like this for it to be wild. <laughs> you can never catch yourself in a wild environment. If you you mm -hmm. feel I me? Mean? Because you it's so unpredictable to you. Definitely unpredictable. But once you're on point, you know what to look out mm -hmm. for. You feel me? It's not that wild no more. You feel me? Because I've been around this whole city, I'm telling you, man. I've been around this whole city, and I'm talking about in the trenches of trenches, but I know how to move around. Mm -hmm. So it's not that wild. You feel me? But yeah, to to somebody that's naive or just young, you just young out here. You just it's wild. You getting right caught now. up in what you? Yeah, you so excited and you're adrenaline rushing. Yeah. There's gunshots. Oh, you, you know what I mean you think it's slow lit right now? But somebody's waiting and watching to pick you off, man. But tune in, man. You learn to be a wolf. Uh, let me see what I got on my uh, guest. <laughs> Yeah.